What is up, everybody? Welcome back to I Actually Learn How to Do a Dang Thing in Loom. Uh, so we got stuck last time. I'm not proud of it. But I feel like... I don't know. This is one of the few moments in this game where it has kind of an obtuse um, design thing. Because when you get a spell that's in visibility, you kind of expect it to go, Hey, I should be able to do invisible on like on me if i do invisible to myself then i'll be invisible but uh there's a theory that i'm kind of postulating and before you say that's too lewd for youtube let me do a little bit of actually i'm not sure which one this is but uh trying to use the keyboard oh wait a minute I wrote it down as vision. It's not the same vision that I meant. Already blundering. Backwards. Doesn't seem to affect them at all. Don't yell at me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I promise. I promise. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, happy notes. Hmm. I wonder, did it work? Only one way to find out. It worked. It worked, Bobbin. Let me tell you. Let's do this now, for reals. Talk to these dudes, ring my bell, blood sister style. Maybe, maybe don't ring my oh. bell. A glass bell. I wonder what will happen if. And now I'm invisible. Oh, dizzy. Our esteemed Bishop Mandible cuts quite a figure, doesn't he? I don't doubt the Crucible's getting tired of bowing and scraping to him. Why would the clerics want a scrying sphere anyway? I thought they didn't believe in the future. Yeah, your guess is as lucid as mine, Flute. But Crucible appears to think that they're up to no good again. Then why would he do business with them at all? Let alone sell them a sphere. Well, you know, Crucible, he'd sell his own mother's spectacles if he thought there was a profit in it. And the clerics are paying off in cash. Which should keep us in the clear for years to come. Still, I'm certainly pleased that Crucible... Still, I'm certainly pleased that <laughs> Crucible's not taking any chances. This scythe might become very useful if our friend the bishop has been less than transparent with us. Ouch! Yes. Very useful indeed. Well, Scythe has some A A A G. Scythe is a even sharper a than a weaver's spindle. A G. And I don't know what to put down, so I'll just put Scythe. And we can also look at these guys. I think there's definitely a prompt, but it might just. That Scythe is even sharper than a weaver's spindle. So here's my theory, I guess, for it, is that um, when you, the way you learn the invisibility spells from the shepherds, and I'm guessing that the in the same way, they're casting it on you, maybe even passively, maybe that's just the loom thing picks it up, uh, the distaff, uh, but you end up seeing them, so maybe by casting invisibility on them, it's more like they can't see, I don't know. Illusionary skills. They're confusing. E, F, F, E. That one's palindromic, which means there's no opposite. And apparently we scared them. Which I, it raises more questions than, than it answers. Did the scrying sphere know that we were going to come to this thing and then learn the... Because this is the only way we're going to learn this weave is by learning it from the sphere. Is there anything else also? Or is it just going to tell us again? Oh. There's fire in a cave. I guess one more won't hurt it. I see. F. G. C? 
I think that's the one we had up here already, like way at the start. So that's interesting. And is that it? Uh, okay, that's. I think we can press like escape or something. Enter. Oh, we can just play it out. Make sure that I got EFFE. Sounds like it. This game wouldn't be impossible on that expert mode, but man, it would take a lot of time. I'm not. <laughs> I can't read music as is. I'm just a parrot when it comes to singing. So, EFE is scary. Spooky and scary. And these guys are doing their job. They're glass makers, but they're making a wonderful sight. Maybe they're just crafters in general. I don't know. Guilds are weird. Getting a mileage out of that out of this notes thing. It's, it's very nice though, so I can't blame them. Maybe mass clicking will uh, make me go faster, but I don't believe it. This will take us to the back. <laughs> I mean, this place is pretty circular. We don't have to go that far at the same time, you know. It's a little it, 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 was, it was about this way in the MIDI version, except there weren't even voices. And the voice acting is, like, top-notch. I don't... I, st I should have done my research and found out who did it, but I didn't. So, that's on me. It's, a, it's very nice, though, and very... I don't know. It, it... I feel like I've ran over this before, though. Which is to say, maybe that's just how good it is. So, let's um create our own future... You want to come up here, Bobbin? It's, that'd be nice. Cause see, when when they pop out, like I think our staff just reacts to it, but it also feels like they're casting it on themselves. <laughs> so are we? All right, looking at you, dudes. It's time to get spooked. Okay, that one's definitely like. Well, that worked. Funny, I don't feel very scary. That one's definitely like an illusion on them. Here are some sheep. I suppose we could just turn these sheep. Yeah, you know why not? <laughs> we know how to turn white wool into green. We did it. Wonderful. Oh, E. Yeah. G. We don't, what? A? I don't have an A. You can't do that. Hey, you. Oh. Green sheep. Who ever heard of green sheep? How am I supposed to watch sheep that I can hardly see? Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's not even close. Not even like a recording. <laughs> A G F E. I assume going backwards. And you're asleep. Beautiful. Magical. Uh is that is that as far we can we can look at him? Poor fella. He must have had a long night. Uh can I go anywhere else? Or this fence is kind of confusing. Not, oh, we can just go around it, though. It's just the adventure rules that I've learned. You have to click everywhere, even though stuff looks like you can't go there. It's not the way. This is another, like, wonderful vista. I should probably get the mouse out of the way so that then we can enjoy it. Oh, look, a tiny sheep. Hello there. Who said ah, that? Speaking sheeps. I did. My name is Fleece. 
first chosen of the Guild of Shepherds. I wish we had time to chat a while and trade some tales, but we have got a serious problem on our hands. I didn't sort of ask your life story. Had. It seems we've a dragon nearby who has an enormous appetite for fresh mutton. We breed our sheep for extra whiteness, so we cannot keep them on the meadows. She can spot them miles away. By now, the dragon has carried off so many that we may not be able to fill the cleric's order. The clerics? I just saw the bishop at the glassmaker's. Bishop Mandible? He placed the order for 10,000 sheep. 10,000 sheep? That's enough to feed an army. Yes, that had occurred to us too. You noticed our increased patrol in the forest. We'll deliver the sheep to the clerics if we can, but we won't trust them. I suppose fighting the dragon will be out of the question. Only a mage can save us. Now, oh, an abrupt cut off. Maybe I can do a thing. Uh, twist. Um, vision. Uh, open the sheep. No, okay. Perhaps I shouldn't bother her. Just, I can't talk to you. This is fire. Are the sheep outside? No. No. I guess I'll just leave. You've been avoiding my little friend here. Oh, excuse me. What am I supposed to do? She doesn't look at all well. She isn't, and my songs of healing don't seem to be bringing her much comfort. A C C A palindromic. I wish I were better with him. Well, uh, can't help you, lady, because I don't. I don't have one. The flock is out to pasture. You'll find them there. Go forth, wizard, and may you return safely to our fold. Healing. Oh boy, sheep. Sheep bred for the whitest wool, and we are, you know, made to, um, ah, words. Grass green it is. Well, I'm glad we fixed that problem. Now sheep won't get... Oh. You know, I do like the audio, but I'm not sure that the simulation is like top notch. Well, what have we here? Which is really bad because this is the Steam version. Been in such a blazing hurry, I guess. I thought you looked a bit scrawny. Why you'd hardly make a decent kindling. Uh huh. That's a real shame, lady. D have dragon you no lady. Manners, lad. Stop staring at me. Oh, was I staring? So sorry. Oh, don't mind me, love. I'll get rather crotchety on an empty stomach. D does that mean you're going to incinerate me, then? Incinerate you? Oh, my! Aren't you the foxy one? <laughs> I haven't created any fire since my last mating season. Gross. And you don't want to know how many centuries ago that was. <laughs> Even grosser. No, 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 that's much too much heat for me these days. You mean you can't breathe fire? Can't? Let's just say... I won't. Just between you and me, love. The stuff gives me the EBGBs. <laughs> okay. Hey, gold. Even using the That's same thing uh, as quite a bit of gold you have there. The other that gold we had. Gold. That's nothing compared to what it used to be. Piled floor to ceiling. It was. Everyone said it was the most beautiful layer anywhere, and right they were too. Then one day, last spring it was, comes along this third-rate wizard who botched up everything. He tried to get the volcano to blow, but only shook up the place in a huge earthquake instead. <laughs> Broke all my fancy glass, mind you, and made off with most of the gold, too. The only thing he left me was a gorgeous glass ball. That sounds like a scrying sphere. I wonder what would happen if we were to just... I don't remember which one is which. I think I've gotten used to the keyboard controls. Bam. Straw. Uh, put it back 
the way you found it. Now. Nah, I'm just gonna leave. Oh, wait. We've got our A phrasing. And if we have an A, yeah, we do have... Our descending. Boy, this looks like a familiar uh, sight. Whoops. This is probably fine. Uh, you haven't heard the last of me, you cheeky brat! Oh, there wasn't an exit to begin with. It might help to point at something first. I wasn't trying to do... Bob Thudberry, limey git. There really is no exit. Oh, okay. I was... Wondering, uh, maybe I should have tried to escape and have more dialogue with the dragon, but, uh, uh you know, if, if it's all the same, I'd rather not, uh, deal with the dragon. I remember reading about this place. It is a pain. Wonderful. I can't see a thing. Uh... We have one of these. In fact, it's palindrome, so I don't even... I don't think we can screw it up. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, I remember this. I... It... It's... Like... I, I don't... If I learn some editing skills, then this this will be the part. Are you ready for amazing efforts? No, it's just a dead end. This is this reminds me of the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade game, also made by LucasArts. It you know it's good, but at the same time there were some really frustrating parts. I don't think I'll ever play that on stream because, or on uh, recording. Cause I got stuck on there like a whole lot. Okay. Let's go into the darkness. That seems fun. Or maybe we should just look like the staircase. Hmm. This is, isn't it exciting without any of the music and the stuff around just clicking and Okay, we just went in a complete circle. I I wasn't even aware that... Wait, wait no? We came out in this way and... Oh, boy. This is, a, this is the perfect time for a cut of some sort. Eh, you know what? 18 minutes. This is, uh, yeah. I'm... <laughs> if you want to call it, um editing here. I'm going to cut this episode right off on this spot. I have been Maelstrom Tear. If you enjoyed the video, uh, for whatever reason, enjoyed me bumbling around in a thing for five minutes and then a lot of some narrative, then consider hitting the like button. Uh, I mean, maybe if you just enjoy Loom. I really enjoyed this game. Uh, except for just certain parts. Sometimes it turns into, you know, there's that point and clicker adventure thing where you're like, find the very obscure object to put into the very weird spot that you never would have thought of unless you had tried everything and then quit and gotten the guide that they wanted you to purchase for X amount of dollars. Uh, and I will be finishing this game, rest assured. I, I said that for binary domain, but you know, that's Sega's fault on that. But uh, And I will also be playing Isaac probably at some point again. That's kind of the standard game, so I don't want to I don't want to overdo it. Nonetheless, so you can subscribe for a video like every day. Regardless, uh, my name is Maelstrom Tier. I hope you enjoyed this because I will see you next time, or not if you don't show up again. But you know, I kind of hope you do. Bye. I love you.